Today is Wednesday, Parashat Pekude, Parashat this week, tells us about the completion of the building of the Mishkan. Most importantly, it's not enough just to have great plans, the application of the plans and the conclusion of the plans and the fulfilling of what was intended is most important. That's what this parasha is about. We spoke in previous parashiot how the Mishkan will be built, what the vessels will be made of, etc. But here, this is what it was done and exactly as specified as indicated to Moshe Rabbeinu. And the two craftsmen who were involved in making the vessels and in making the preparing the Mishkan was Betzal El Ben Uri, Ben Hur, the son of Hur, and Aholia Ben Ahisamach. The Betzal El was from the tribe of Yehuda, and Aholia was from the tribe of Dan. An important message here because the tribe of Yehuda was the leader tribe. It was the, the tribe that traveled first in the desert because there was a camp of the 12 tribes. The one that traveled first was the tribe of Yehuda. Betzalel was from that tribe. And Yehuda also from Yehuda came the king. David the Melech is from the tribe of Yehuda. So we have here kingship, we have leadership, we have a, a, a very important tribe that Betzalel came from. Dan, uh, which was the tribe that Aholiav came from, was actually the last tribe to travel in the desert. As the 12 tribes traveled, Dan was the last, the final one. He was an Asef, the one who gathered whatever was left behind. And he and, uh, was also, Dan was the son of Bilha, who was the maidservant of, uh, of Rachel Imen. So we have here the most important of tribes with Yehuda, and Dan, which was the last to travel, to really indicate to us that all are equal, and to bring together everybody. And the idea of humility and leadership should not be such that uh, does not have respect for the ones who are not at the same level in terms of the hierarchy or in terms of the leadership. So Dan contribute Aoriav, who was together it says in the parasha, and together with him, together with Betzal El, and that union of Dan and Yehuda of both tribes is very indicative of how it should be in terms of Achdut, and especially in making the Mishkan, in making a sanctuary for the Shechina. We need that Achdut and that mutual respect and that togetherness of the one that was the leader and one that was the Me'asev, the last one to travel in the desert. Then, Another idea from the parasha of this week. Parasha speaks about Moshe Vayakem and he, and he erected the Mishkan. But just before it says, Hukam HaMishkan, the Mishkan was erected as passively. It, was it done actively by Moshe? Or was it done in a way that was passive with help from Shamaim? Well, here we have an important principle that a person has to do his ishtadlut, he has to do his effort but to also have always in mind that whatever we, have, we are able to accomplish is ultimately because Hashem made it possible, because Hashem gave us the ability and the, the capacity to be able to accomplish what we did. So even though Moshe, and it says that Moshe, when he came to erect the, uh, the, 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 the wall structure of the Mishkan, those... Uh, those wood beams that were standing were very, very heavy. And uh, he, he put his hands in there to lift them up. And yes, he lifted them up, but actually he couldn't lift them up without assistance from heaven, from Shamaim. And that's what we do in everything in life. We put our effort. And ultimately, it's Hashem who makes it uh, us able to be able to accomplish it. These are some of the lessons from the parasha of this week. For Parashat Pikudeh, today it's Wednesday for the Parashat Baruch Adonai Le'olam Amen Ve'amen.